Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm starting this video bare faced today because as you will have guessed from the title, today is my everyday makeup routine. Now this has been requested so much and I've actually filmed this twice already. The first time it was terrible and the second time I lost all the footage. So hopefully this is the third time lucky. Um, also I just want to say I'm using a new microphone so hopefully the sound quality is okay but if it's not then that is why and I will change it for my next video. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Oh, another thing I'll say, I'm sat on my office chair and it's a bit squeaky so if you hear like random squeaks, it's the chair. So I want to start with saying I am by no means a makeup artist, I actually am Personally, I don't think I'm that great at doing my makeup, but um, a lot of people wanted to see this video, so I thought I would film it. Um, so, I'm going to begin with moisturiser. So, I have really dry skin, especially on my face. Like, that's sort of my main concern with my skin on my face. So, I actually use two moisturisers. So, the first one that I'm going to use is Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. So, this was sent to me um, a couple of months ago now and um, I'd heard like loads of hype about it and all of that but I've never actually tried it and like now I've tried it I do understand the hype. It makes my skin feel really really firm um, and it's just a really really nice base for makeup. Um, and then the other one that I'm going to use is the Clinique. Um, this is the Moisture Surge one um, and this is actually my like third pot of this one. I've used this so much. So I'm going to go in with this one first because this is the one that really, really sort of replenishes my skin and pops loads of moisturiser into my face um, and just makes it nice and hydrated. So I'm just going to apply that with my hands all over my face, on my forehead. I find that if I don't use this then my skin feels very tight um, and I really don't like that feeling so onto my neck as well. Okay so next up I'm going to go in with the magic cream and I've only got a little pot but you really don't need that much. Um, I know this stuff is quite expensive um, which is why I haven't yet invested in a bigger pot but um, I'm just going to put it mostly sort of in my like cheeks and forehead um, but I'll put a little bit sort of just dabbing it in everywhere. smells really good as well. Now I'm actually using like the viewfinder as the mirror so um, if I if you find I'm always looking slightly to the side that's because of that really so sorry about that but I don't want to like hold a mirror up in front of my face because then you won't be able to see. Okay so I'm also just going to pop on some lip balm so the lip balm that I use always is pore pore ointment honestly this stuff is an absolute dream. I honestly use it so much. It's great for everything so it's not just great for lip balm, you can literally use it on like cracked skin, on like dry parts on like your hands and all sorts of stuff. Like on the back it says boils, burns, chafing, cuts, cracked skin, gravel rash, splinters, open wounds, insect bites and nappy rash. So this really is like a little miracle um, ointment, it's so good. So now let's get on to the base. So the foundation that I've been wearing at the moment, and I've been wearing it since the summer, honestly ever since I found it I don't even want to try any new foundations because I love it that much. So it's the L'Oreal um, Pro Glow Infallible uh, Foundation. Um, and as I said, I have got dry skin, so this is for normal to dry skin, it's super hydrating. It's also really, really dewy on the skin and that's like my kind of perfect foundation. I would say it's like a medium coverage, so it's not super heavy but you can build it up, but also at the same time it's not um, like a tinted moisturiser kind of light. Um, so I'm wearing this one in the shade 206. Now I don't think you can buy this in the UK in like um, stores for like boots or anything like that, but I buy mine off Amazon. Um, it's literally £10 on Amazon, I have Amazon Prime so it comes the next day. I'm actually just after this video I'm going to order another one because this one is nearly running out. But these are honestly amazing. I used to wear tinted moisturisers before, but I kind of felt that wasn't giving me enough coverage. But then I felt like other foundations were really heavy on my skin and were kind of drying me out. And this one is honestly the best one I've ever tried, like better than high-end ones. So yeah, I really recommend this one. So I'm going to use one of the iconic brushes to apply it. So I'm going to use this one. Um, sorry, I didn't clean the brushes before I did this video, um, but I love these brushes. They blend so nicely. These were sent to me um, probably about three months ago now, and honestly, I haven't really looked back. I used to find putting on foundation a little bit 
like tiresome with the beauty blender like I didn't really like using it so these ones are great so I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this onto my hand as you can see it's quite a liquidy kind of um, texture so yeah squirt a little bit of that onto my hand and then what I'm gonna do which I don't do like every single day but when I feel like I don't know, just need a bit of a extra glow. I pop in a drop of the Iconic Illuminator. Um, now I've got this in the shade Original. Literally, you need the tiniest bit of this. So I just pop it into the foundation, just like that. Um, one drop is absolutely fine for like an everyday look. Maybe if I was going out in an evening, I would do a bit more. Um, but you really don't need more than that for every day because it is very strong. So I'm just gonna dab at it with um, my foundation brush and then just apply it literally kind of in strokes to begin with and then I'll properly blend it in and sort of buff it out in a bit. I actually think this foundation is a little bit too dark for me at the moment um, just because I'm very pale at the moment so I might need to down a shade when I rebuy. Okay, so then after I have like really brushed it in with the smaller brush, I go in with the bigger iconic brush and I use, whoa, <laughs> I use this one to buff it. So just to make sure it looks really, really seamless and it's like really like totally blended in. So I just go over it in like circular motions. Take a little bit, if I've got any excess, just buff that in as well. So hopefully, if I come a little bit closer, so hopefully you can see it's quite a sort of dewy finish um, and it really does blend like nice and seamlessly. Make sure you do your ears. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with some concealer. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, I have used this concealer for about two years now. I just find it gives the best coverage. I really do like struggle with my under eye um, bags, so I find that I really need like a high coverage concealer. Um, so I just dot this under my eyes like that and I also pop it sort of in the inner corner as well and then this is quite like a wet concealer so I often leave that to dry just for a couple of minutes um, just to make sure it's like nice and tacky before I um, start to blend it in so while I'm waiting for that to dry I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrows through so the eyebrow pencil that I'm using today is the precisely my brow by benefit um, and I've got this one in the shade 4. Um, I kind of mix up my eyebrows, but I do find that for an everyday, this is kind of the best and quickest one. Um, I've used a couple HD brows have one, which is good, but I do find that one takes a little bit more time. This is very precise, obviously, in the name. So I'm um, just going to brush my eyebrows through. Obviously, I've got, like, some foundation on them from when I put my foundation on. So try and brush any of that off. Okay, now to blend in my concealer. So I use two brushes for this. Um, the first one that I use is this Zoeva one. And this is um, a concealer buffer. So it's, it's number 142 and it's the concealer one. Um, and then I also use the Iconic one in this very, like, I think this is the smallest one they do. Um, so I'm gonna start with the Iconic one. I'm gonna use a mirror for this again, sorry. <clears throat> I really like the shape of this because I find you can really get into the inner corner really nicely. And then I'll bring it round onto my eyelid as well. I pull the funniest faces when I'm doing my makeup, sorry. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with the Zoeva one and just make sure it is all nicely blended in. Just because this one's a little bit more precise. To be honest, I probably don't need to use both, but you know, when you just get into a bit of a habit. Okay, so that is my concealer done. Um, as you can see, I still do have a bit of a shadow there, but that's just like me naturally. It's nothing I can do about it. Next up, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and I use the Soleil Tan de Chanel. So I used to be very much like a hula girl from Benefit and I do still love hula, but um, recently I've been really into this Chanel one. And actually, I bought this um, June, in the summer in June. And look, I still haven't even hit pan on it. And I use it every single day. So, I mean, it lasts for ages. 
It's a bit of a creamy consistency, but as soon as you pop it on your brush, it kind of just turns into like a powder, but kind of like a nice dewy powder, which is perfect for me with dry skin. So um, <clears throat> I'm also just gonna use Real Techniques powder brush. I literally just buff this everywhere on my face because I'm really, I really like to have like a very natural, but a very bronzy um, makeup look. So yeah, I just like to pop this everywhere. Like I said, do your neck, do your ears. <laughs> So now I've done kind of most of my base, I'm just going to quickly go on and do my eyes. Now, I don't really do a lot to my eyes at all, especially not for an everyday look, but I do like to put a little bit of bronzer on my lids, so I'll just show you that. So the bronzer that I'm going to use for my lids is the NARS Casino bronzer. Um, so if I open it up, it just looks like that inside. And then I'm just going to go in with a eyeshadow brush. This is literally... Um, it's from the Urban Decay Naked palette. It's got two ends, which I just find really helpful. So I'm gonna go in with the slightly bigger end, just a little bit, use the mirror in here. And I just wash that over my lids, like super simple, but just gives a little bit of color to them. This is a really great one as well because you can also use it as a bronzer for your face so it's quite versatile. It means you haven't got to buy like a new eyeshadow or anything like that. So yeah, I literally just pop it on the top of my lids. It probably doesn't actually make that much difference but you know when you just feel like it does so you have to do it. Now I'm going to go on to sort of contour my face. Now I don't really do contouring or anything like that mainly because I don't really know how to um, but I do like to do it a little bit on my cheekbones. So I'm going to go in with the Hoola um, Quick Contour Stick. Um, and I literally just put this along, I'm going to come closer so I can see, sort of just along underneath my cheekbones. Um, and that's literally the only place that I put it. And then I go in again with the big brush and I just buff that in. Oh, you can hear my chair so much because <laughs> I keep moving forward and back. So sorry about that. I promise you it's the chair. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and sit still now. So hopefully you don't hear the squeaking as much. So next I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Um, and I'm wearing this in the shade 4 medium. So I love this stuff because you can put it with your foundation. So you can like mix it in or you can put it underneath your foundation or you can put it on top of your foundation. So it really is a super versatile product. Now I like to use this on top of my foundation. So I don't really like doing like big obvious highlighter, but I do like to have that like nice glow and I find this is a perfect solution for that. So I just pop it in the bits that I would have sort of like a natural highlight. So obviously your cheekbones, your nose, a little bit on your chin, a little bit in your cupid's bow, and then just a little bit up on your forehead kind of in the t-zone area um so just like that i really love the applicator on this as well it goes on so nice and smoothly and honestly i've had this ages massive bottle it has lasted me so well so then i'm just going to buff that in using the same powder brush so really lightly buff it in because obviously you don't want to like rub it all off but you do want to blend it nicely So hopefully you can kind of see the glow that I've got from that. Can you see? Hope so. <laughs> okay, so then after I've just done that little bit of highlight, I'm going to go in with some blusher. So I use the NYX blusher and it is in the shade Amber. Um, and then I just use a little Bobbi Brown um, blender. Just because I really like the size of this one, it's really manageable. So I just take a little bit of blusher on my brush and I smile so I can see exactly where to put it. And I literally just lightly dust it on to my cheeks. So it just gives you that kind of like nice sort of rosy glow. It looks quite natural. I might just blend that in a little bit with this one. So then just quickly I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury um, palette which is the Film Star Bronze and Glow palette. So if I open it up inside, um, you've got a sort of contour shade and a highlight shade. So I'm going to use a highlight shade today. Um, and I'm going to go in with this little Real Techniques brush, which looks like this. And I'm literally just going to really lightly tap on here and do just like the end of my nose. Again, my little cupid's bow there. 
and then just lightly go over the um, bits that I did earlier in the um, with the flawless filter and then I'm going to go back in with my um, Urban Decay brush and get some highlighter and just do my brow bone and I'm also going to do the inner corner so I'm going to swap around to the smaller end and do the inner corner Okay, now on to eyebrows, which is one of the like the most fun parts to do. I think it's my favourite part. So um, I'm just going to quickly brush them again, just because they might have been sort of covered in a bit of bronzer. Um, there's no harm in just brushing your eyebrows every now and then. So um, I'm just going to line this one up. So I'm going to come quite a bit closer to you, so you can really see what I do. So the aim of this pencil is really just to build up little strokes. So just use little tiny movements in the gaps where you feel they are kind of like they're missing hairs or it's quite sparse. And you just build little strokes. Especially I like to do it up in the arch area down here and also at the front. That's kind of my areas where I kind of feel like they look quite sparse. And as I'm doing it, I'll brush it through because sometimes it helps if you brush up and you can see where the gaps are and also if you brush down here, you can see where the gaps are. So hopefully you can kind of see the difference between the two. Um, obviously it makes it quite a bit darker um, and also just really fills it in. I do take quite a lot of time on my eyebrows because I feel like it is quite difficult to get the right shape and stuff. And then I'm going to do the exact same on the other eyebrow. Okay, so now that I've done both eyebrows, I'm just going to go in with a brow gel. So this is the Glossier Boy Brow, and I really recommend a brow gel. Um, I think Benefit do a good one, HG Brows do a good one. Um, I just like the Glossier one because it's really affordable, um, and I find it like sets the brows really nicely. So I literally just brush through very lightly. This one is in the shade brown, so it does have a colour on it, um, but you can get clear ones. But it's just going to keep them in place for longer. It's going to make them look that little bit fuller. In the summer, I sometimes don't even use a pencil. I just use the gel, because um, it does make it look fuller. So, yeah. I like to brush them up a little bit as well, just so they look a little bit bushier than they actually are. So now I'm going to go in and do some mascara. So as I said, I have eyelash extensions, so I don't do anything on the, on the top, but I do put some on the bottom, and I use this one. So this is super worn off now, um, but it's the L'Oreal um, Volume Million Lashes, and I got it in waterproof because on my bottom lashes, I find that's definitely like the best one to stop any transfer onto your face. So again, I always pull stupid faces doing this. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to do my lips. So first of all, I go in with this, and this is the Kiko Lip Scrub. Um, I often find like with foundation and stuff like that, I end up with it all over my lips, and you have foundation lips, so that's not a great base to put any um, lipstick on. So I literally just apply it like a lip balm. And it goes kind of horrible look, if you can see. Um, but I just rub that in. And then I just take it off with a makeup wipe, or you can just use tissue. Anything works, really. So in terms of lipstick, um, my everyday lipsticks kind of vary, but at the moment I've been obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Also really like um, Mac's Honey Love. Um, World by Mac is another good one. Um, I like using Boldly Bare, the lip pencil by Mac, as like an all over. Um, but yeah, at the moment I've just been obsessed with Pillow Talk, so I'm going to use that one today. So normally I would apply a lip liner underneath this, but um, my lip liner is in one of my bags, and I can't remember which one, and so I'm just going to go straight in with the lipstick, because it, you know, it's pretty similar anyway. Um, and you'll still be able to see the colour and everything, so this is the lipstick like that. Hopefully you can see. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. 
A lip liner does make it stay on longer, so I would always recommend getting the lip liner if you can. So that is the lipstick, and then I'm going to go over it with a gloss. So I'm going to use the NYX um, Butter Gloss, I think this one is. Yeah, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. Um, and I always pop this on over lipstick because I do prefer like a more sort of glossy lip. And then lastly, just to finish off the look, I'm just going to apply um, some of the MAC Prep and Prime Spray. Um, I think this is more of a primer, but I like to apply it um, after my makeup just to kind of set it and make it look nice and dewy. So that is the end of my everyday makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it has helped you out if you're looking to buy some new staples for your makeup bag. I'm also going to pop everything that I have used, all the shades, all the colours, everything in the description box below. So do check out um, that box if you did want to pick up any of the items that I mentioned. Please do let me know what you thought down below. Obviously, like I said, I'm no makeup artist, so I'm quite new to videos like this. So yeah, it'd be great to hear your thoughts. And if you are new here, please do subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!